Hey guys, I'm Naval Yamal. So in this video, we are going to talk about the certification of Microsofts. So first certification when it comes to Microsoft Azure is your AZ900. AZ900. So this is called an Azure Fundamentals. Fundamental certification. Uh, like we do not have any validity on this. Suppose if you crack the exam, that is for lifetime. Okay. And you have one more exam on Azure, uh, fundamentals that is your DP900. So this is the code of Microsoft. Uh, this is your Azure data fundamentals. So if you are planning to enter into any data field, any data field, like data engineering, data scientist, data analyst, anything. So this should be or this can be your first step. And if you are coming to a cloud, this is all about the cloud. Obviously, there are a few topics that are repeated in this DP, but AZ900 belongs to entire Azure fundamentals. As the name itself suggests, you can see Azure fundamentals. Then these are your one stars. Like once you give this exam, you get one star. Then there are a associate certification after this. Okay. So actually, when you go for the higher level, that is for two stars, two stars, uh, one of the exam is your DP203. So 203 is your Azure Data Engineering Certification. Azure Data Engineering. Engineering. So whatever I have talked now, like you should have a knowledge of cloud obviously and ADF that is Azure Data Factory. You should know what is ADLS that is Azure Data Lake Storage and you should know what is your Databricks, Databricks and you should know what is Synapse. So Synapse Analytics is one of the new uh, feature or new services brought by Microsoft. So that was a warehouse actually, Microsoft's warehouse but now they have renamed it to Synapse. So Synapse is nothing but it includes all this. Inside the Synapse, you have ADF, you have ADLS also, you have Databricks also, you have Power BI also. Okay, Power BI. You can directly integrate your Power BI in the Synapse. So these all tools include your TP203. Okay, then you have one more. Uh, if you are specifically focusing on data analyst or business intelligence with a tool of Power BI, then we have a, a code that is PL300. Actually, uh, before March 2022, it was called as a DA100. So, DA100 that was a data analyst certification. Azure, obviously, Azure data analyst. This also gives you two stars. Okay. So, when you are focusing or when you're talking about more about the data field so these certifications from the microsoft plays a very important role or this can be your first step towards your career okay so i'll show you all the documentation and all the modules regarding these certification let me do it one by one so when you go to google just type az900 that is Microsoft's Azure Fundamental Certification. So when you click on this, so you get all the details of AZ900. You get all the details. So candidates for this exam should have a foundational knowledge of the cloud services and how these services are provided with the Microsoft Azure. So the passing is 700 marks. That is 70%. You should get 70% to get the certification. And obviously, it is a paid one. Not to worry, you can just take India here and see how much cost they have. But there are a few techniques like how you can get a free voucher for this certification. We will see that in the upcoming videos, like how to uh, like get a free Microsoft fundament, Azure Fundamental certification. And you can see what are the skills measured in this. You can call this as a curriculum. So very simple. They have only three points in that. So first is describe your cloud concepts. So that can be your 25 to 30% weightage. 
and describe your Azure architecture and services that can be your 35 to 40 percent of the weightage. Describe the Azure management and governance so that can be your 30 to 35 percent. So what is exactly what they are ex expecting from the cloud concepts and so on. So they have given a beautiful modules. So here you have a module so you can see. So there are three modules inside this there are again three modules you can see microsoft azure fundamentals describe the cloud concepts once you enter in that so they have three modules in this chapter you can call this as a chapter so one is describe cloud computing second is describe the benefits of using cloud and describe a cloud service type we will be seeing all this in detail not to worry actually we are uh, covering all this uh, az 900 as well as dp 900 so let me show you the certification what you get so i have done this uh, with this certification so you will be getting this uh, batch once you clear the certification so azure fundamentals okay so let me talk about dp here itself dp 900 so you get a, a dp 900 that is azure data fundamental uh, yes, actually, I want to show you the Azure data or roadmap from this image. So this is a free code camp, which they provide us all free uh, courses in YouTube. OK, so you can see when it comes, if you want to start with an Microsoft's cloud or Microsoft's Azure, so fundamental certifications are these three, like whatever we have discussed now. OK, yeah, like AZ 900, DP 900 az 900 dp 900 so if you want to go into ai field that is artificial intelligence machine learning data science then ai 900 is the first step for that i just told you about the certification related to data so az 900 dp 900 these are the basic and once you complete dp 900 it all depends on you like you should uh, like you should decide whether you want to go for the data engineering side or the bi part okay so once you have completed dp 900 you can go with data engineering the code is dp203 or you can go with data analyst now the uh, code has changed to pl300 about data analyst so let me let me show you about this dp 900 how the course content is uh, Azure Data Fundamentals. So, this exam is an opportunity to demonstrate knowledge of the core data concepts and related Microsoft Azure data services. So, again, the passing is 700 marks, and you can see some sample questions. You can see how what are the study guides related to DP 900, and the there are four different topics in this. One is core data concepts and identity identify consideration for relational database and non-relational database so data relational database is what all we are doing about sql and some of the analytics workload on azure that is your power bi okay so there are four different chapters in each chapter you have different modules two modules two modules two modules and three modules once you are done with this like the next step if would be two options let me tell you so if you are starting with an azure then after completing your az 900 certification you can go with dp that is foundational of data you can directly go with this or you can first go with this and directly come to here you have two steps like you can go with pl300 a detail of power bi only power bi tool is used in this and the dp203 that is all what i have talked about data azure data engineering and it covers all these services so let me show you pl300 yeah so it is showing you microsoft power bi data analyst so data analyst You'll get two stars for this and the costing is also high when it compared to the fundamental and 
not an issue i'll tell you how to get a free voucher on this in our coming video and you can see uh, what all chapters are there or what is the curriculum for power bi so majorly they are testing you on power bi only so preparing the data model the data visualize and analyze the data deploy and maintain the assets so the weightage is also given and the modules are here you can see power bi power bi power bi power bi it is all related to power bi okay there are some hands on tutorials in between the modules also so you once you follow the learning path you will definitely cover all the points of this pl300 so coming to the next that i want to talk about is tp203 so this is a data engineering on microsoft azure so data engineering on microsoft azure and these are like huge topics you can see you should know about what is azure data engineering store the data in azure like blob storage adls you should know relational databases non relational databases and adf that is azure data factory azure synapse pipeline just now i told you if you are coming to synapse that adf is also integrated in synapse so this covers both adf and azure synapse pipeline and integrated analytics solution data warehousing and data engineering with azure spark pools now here is your after hybrid transactional here we are having a data engineering with azure databricks inside that again we have five different models how to handle the large scale data processing with uh, azure data lake and some streaming analytics also azure streaming analytics so like if we are focusing on dp203 it almost take two three months and the prior or the prerequisite for this certification would be your dp900 and you should know the sql you should know the python then we can focus on this uh, if you are completely fresher i am telling you it takes to 2 3 months so this is all about the certifications of azure and all the certifications like all certifications comes with a multiple choice questions that are mcqs okay mcqs but in fundamentals all questions will be an mcqs only but when you are talking about dp203 and pl300 that is having two stars there we have mcqs but we have multiple answer choice here also we have some multiple answer choice but here we have some scenario based questions also so there will be two scenario based questions each scenario based will be having five questions so two scenario based questions so it will have 10 questions on scenario based so questions can be anywhere between uh, 50 to 60 50 to 60 depending on which exam you are taking and at what time you are taking so you have to schedule your exam and a proctor will be assigned and he will be in front of you and you have to give your exam so more detail like how to schedule and all we will see in detail but this is the basic of your azure certification related to data there are so many certifications from microsoft azure but i am specifically talking about the certifications related to data thank you guys thank you for watching this video so if you like the content please do subscribe like the video and share it with your friends keep learning